lessons on the campuses of Fontana School. Supporters say that's the best way to protect children in the wake of the Newtown school shooting, but critics say it's a crazy idea. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan talked to both sides of the issue. He joins us now live with this debate. Dave. Well, Lena, Sylvia, nowhere is the debate over high-powered weaponry in schools more intense than here in Fontana tonight. On one side of this issue, the mayor, police officials, and the school superintendent, they support the idea of having these weapons available for responding police officers if there is a shooting in the schools. On the other side, some school board members and citizens who say this is the wrong way to go. In response to the escalating violence in schools across America, the Fontana School District Police Department has purchased 14 high-powered AR-15 assault weapons, which are being stored in locked safes for use only by police and only in the event of a school attack like the recent massacre at Sandy Hook. It's unfortunate that we have to have that, but it is the best message we could send to anybody who thinks to harm our children. Because the message we're sending is not here, not now. We're prepared for you, and if you seek to harm our children, we will neutralize that threat and you will most likely be killed. Fontana Police Chief Rodney Jones and Mayor Aquanetta Warren support the decision by the school superintendent to approve the purchase of the assault weapons. Everyone wants children safe. So at this time, we as a community, we definitely have to come together and find other ways. But in the interim, our police officers need to be equipped. But not everyone agrees that storing weapons on school campuses will make them safer. If a person who has intention of coming to a campus to kill know we have the AR-15s, they might come with something even bigger or better. They will come prepared. School board member Sophia Green says school officials who held three public meetings about violence on campus and how to protect students and teachers never mentioned that assault weapons had been purchased. They did ha have meetings, but at no point the words semi-automatic guns will be bought. We have semi-automatic guns or semi-automatic guns are being stored on school property. Child development specialist Anna Conklin, who also opposes storing guns in schools, says there's a lot more to addressing the problem of violence in school than bringing in high-powered weapons. Children aren't born with a gun in their hand and vengeance in their mind. And they don't, they aren't necessarily going to grow into being a killer. And we as a society need to address why children are being are growing up to commit these acts as teens and adults. And I don't see how adding more weapons on a campus in a district is, a, is addressing that. Conklin says the Fontana schools dismantled the school counseling program two years ago, a program, she says, that would help address the problem. But the police chief says Fontana isn't the only school district that's turning to high-powered weaponry to respond to killers on campus. As far as the percentage of school police departments that have them, we're seeing a growing trend. Unfortunately, we're seeing a growing trend where they have to do this. But again, it's, it's a sad thing for society that we have to have this type of firepower in our schools. But it is. We cannot ignore it. This is the society we live in. But wait, there's more. The mayor says there's political intrigue here as well. She says the two school board members who are opposing this idea are both the targets of a recall that's coming up for a vote pretty soon. And she says those board members have always had it in for the school superintendent. Those school board members say that demeans the importance of this issue. There's no way this has anything to do with Fontana politics. We're live in Fontana. Dave Bryant, KCAL 9 News.